So later then, we, we just need to plug in these values, uh, sigma x, sigma y, sigma z. And uh, together with the values should be their signs as well. For compressive force, you need to plug in minus value. For tensile force, you need to plug in positive <coughs> value. So that's the way we use this formula. Okay. So this is uh, uh, one of the very important formula as well. Maybe I should give you some examples so that you can, you can have a better idea. So still using back the same diagram over here, if in the, uh, the lens in the x direction is 100 millimeter, okay? in the y direction is 70 millimeter, in the z direction is 50 millimeter, So what I know is the <laughs> modulus of the elasticity is, is 200 gigapascal. The Poisson's ratio is 0 0.29. Okay. Um, and uh, for and for this object, it is noted by this tree, uh, by by the com by the compressive stress in this three direction. S uh, sigma x, sigma y, and sigma z. Okay. If the three sigmas, three stresses, they are the same, <coughs> and uh, the strain or the deformation in AB direction is minus 30 times 10 to the power the power minus 3 mm. So the question is, what is my stress in all these three planes? Okay. And also, what is the deformation in this BC and uh, this BD <coughs> in other two directions? Maybe I shall label this ABC because ABC. This one is A, B, C, D, yeah. Okay. So given that this <laughs> lens will be shortened by this amount, okay, I want to know what is the, what are the stresses in these three planes. These stresses in this three planes actually are the same. Uh, are the, uh, they, are, they are having the same magnitude. <coughs> so you can try to
after we have a string in our, whenever we want to calculate the string in particular direction, originally we only have one direct loader force in this in this uh, lens. Now, if we want to, if we have loadings from other directions, then we need to take into account of the rest of them. Okay. So actually, this this uh, string is a combination. Of is uh, contributed by these three parts. The darker loader direction, then the indirect loader too. Okay. So that's why in this case, this one, <coughs> what we can do is uh, what we can do is directly uh, is to apply this formula again. Okay. So here, how do we, do we apply this formula? 